Hey guys, so Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag has been out for a little while now, and it's awesome. I, I love it. And I love it because the fact, maybe as many reviewers have said, is because it's not an Assassin's Creed game. It's just a really fun pirate game. Yeah, there's some Assassin stuff here and there, but I'm just loving plunder plundering ships. Every time I just ram a ship and just blow them all up, it's so sweet. But uh, I realize that there's some people, uh, there was a recent doc document about... Uh, how Connor may not return, and I think I'm the one of the few people, I don't know from what I saw in the comments, I'm one of the people who are very, very happy about this because I don't want a conclusion with that guy. He sucked. Now, Assassin's Creed 3 had a lot of good things going for it. It was set during the American Revolution, which would have been awesome because there's a lot of interesting events that happened at that time. You also had a story where really the Templars and the Assassins were kind of both dicks, and you really couldn't choose either because you chose one, he screwed you over, you went back to the other, they screwed you over. Really, you couldn't choose. Along with a sweet-ass hatchet and some cool weapons, you this game could have been great, also because it was on a new engine, so it would have been really good, but... Oh, there's so many issues with it besides the fact that the story was kind of boring, the whole idea of those two being opposing... Uh, the opposing forces being undecided just turned out to be boring, and Connor was a whiny little bitch. Now, after you've had this really cool, sexy character of Enzio Adatori, you get Connor, who's just this whiny little whiner. Oh, yes, your family died. Okay. Well, what about Daniel Day-Lewis and Last of the Mohicans? He wasn't a whiny bitch. He mm. was cool with what he did. He still had his brothers amongst him. You know, he had his family die, so why... You know, he's not a whiny little bitch. So Connor just, he was the worst possible character they could have chose. He just, he never had any emotion, I found. He was very emotionless. The guy they got to voice him was very uncharismatic, which, you know, of course his character wasn't supposed to be charismatic, but, like, I don't, I don't know, entertaining in any sort of way. Just a character you could really care for. And then he just never really got to be the point where you really cared about him. I remember and he, the game never even let you really care about him. Remember when you're having your fight with his friend and you have no choice. You have to kill him. You could possibly just, you know, smack him in the face and be like, hey, you know, this is a bad idea. Don't go with the Templars. No, you have to stab him in the neck because apparently that's what the game wants you to do. So really, Connor didn't have that much of an established character just as well as because the game really didn't help establish one for him. There was all these kind of interesting moments, but they just felt really half convoluted. I guess that's what happens when sometimes you're bringing, trying to bring a new engine into a game, as well as trying to build this massive story around it. Look at Rage, right? Rage was a great uh, game mechanically and visually, but it sucked because there was so much time spent in the engine that the story didn't really work out. So anyway, that's just my thought of why Connor sucks. Uh, and I'm really happy that actually that we aren't seeing a conclusion of his character. But I'm kind of audited out how we're not getting a modern day because this series is supposed to end. I thought the next game is it. I thought Assassin's Creed 5 was supposed to be the end of the series. It's kind of dragging on. Even though Assassin's Creed 4 is awesome, that's because it's not an Assassin's Creed game. So unless you make another pirate game, which I don't know, I don't, I don't think you're going to be able to cash in on that twice, Ubisoft. You guys really need to figure out what you're doing. Anyway, that's all for me, guys. See you later.